Well, you know, whenever you have your diorama and there's a couple walls that meet together, I, I hate seeing just walls. So I'm going to kind of loosely go in there and create a mask for the joint kind of there. You know, something to... to uh, conceal the two walls coming together. I'm uh, creating these center columns that go where two pieces of, uh, where two walls go together in a diorama. And uh, these are just gonna be columns that hide that seam, but look like there's some type of supporting structure. Uh, and all they are is, you know, scrap pieces of pink XPS foam. And they're they're covered in black, and all the black is, it's not it's not paint. It's a combination of uh, matte Mod Podge mixed with black paint, and then what that does is it seals it all, and it gets in there and allows me to black wash uh, these torn out pieces that I created. Um, but I said all that to really say that I want to try. I think this is a good opportunity to try this product that I bought. It's called, well, it's made, made by AK Terrain's Asphalt Acrylic Diorama. Now, this is for making roads and stuff like that. It's it's asphalt, It's called asphalt. It's made for to look like the texture of an, of an asphalt road. So it's really a, a, a very textured surface. Um, they do have one called... Uh, concrete <laughs> but amazon was out of concrete so <laughs> uh in my impatience and wanted to try something new i i figured this would be a good time to try this product here though i know it's for roads um why couldn't i go ahead and use it on here also and uh you know benefit from some of the texture and stuff that this has um so we're going to try this out uh <laughs> we're going to put the asphalt on the columns <laughs> and uh there's there's no there's no rules man you can do what you want so <laughs> we're gonna give it a whirl but what i first want to do is uh i'm gonna paint these knockouts uh, a different color i don't want i don't want it all to be asphalt so we want some contrasting color in there some way to add some layer of different you know color in there this is a concrete looking column knocked out to see the inside maybe cinder block looking gray or something I don't know uh, but that's what we're after so I'm not gonna I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet here and it's not important if I go outside because that's gonna be painted over with the uh, with the asphalt but I just want to go in here and change the color a little bit too Give the eye something to catch on to when it's in the photo. We don't want just a big black looking column. Very un un uninteresting. We'll just go lightly around the outside there. And the same thing over here. Let's put some of this in here. No real special way. We just put it on there. Put it on there just like that. Looks good. You're hired. Okay, get this all in there, and I created these little knockouts just to, once again, give another layer of something to, to see in the scene. I got a little piece up here, don't forget about the piece up here. Okay, I think we're good with that. And uh, I think we're going to also put the heat gun on this because I'm not a fan of sitting here waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> so it uh, helps when you. Electrical items usually work better when you plug them in. I'm done with that. Save myself, save myself an hour. So, 
once again, this is the product. I've never opened it. I've never used it. Um, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to read directions. Just make sure. Shake asphalt texture. On a scale. Boy, it helps when you can... I'm getting old. Let's read this. Good God. Scale asphalt texture with a black shade similar to that. Okay. It can be diluted with water or acrylic medium to improve its flow. Close well to preserve for longer. Okay. Close well. I guess that means keep the lid on it if you want it to last longer. That's an interesting way to say that. So let's open this up. And, oh, it does have a little freshness seal on here. I like those. Those are nice. Except when they break off like this and then you try to get the other piece and it goes under your fingernail. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> let's open this up. And, oh, cool, man, it's really nice. It's got a little tab on here. and Wow, that is black. I'm wondering if I need to stir this at all. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just make sure this brush is nice and dry. Now, to be fair, I've, I've watched a couple of videos on this. And I see people going, they're after roads with it. So they want a nice smooth surface. And so they use like a little spatula and stuff like that. In this case here, I'm not really interested in or after a smooth, super smooth effect. I'll take a little texture on there. I'll take a little, you know, brush mark and stuff like that. Because this is going to be like a concrete kind of uh, column. So I'm not so worried about super smooth roadway what I do want to do let me get a popsicle stick I just want to stir this I just want to see what is stirring it uh, it looks a little watery on top let's shake it also uh, okay, it doesn't shake. <laughs> well, maybe it does a little bit. It's pretty thick. There it goes. Oh, yeah. You can see it settle back down. So it is thick. It is thick. And it is black. Definitely dark. So, now that I kind of got an idea of that, it's going to be kind of weird to paint the black on the black Mod Podge. <laughs> but... Let's just get it on here. I mean, I can see it well enough. Um, we'll get it on here. We'll get it around these edges that I that I painted. We we'll just work. Hopefully, you can see this well enough. I might just because it's a lot of black on black here, and I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. I'm going to just turn that little light on right there. It is definitely a... And I imagine I could paint this too if I wanted to. I mean, if I wanted to do a little... Not paint it, but I could dry brush this. Uh, I see why they say if you want to add water to improve its flow that you can... It is a thick product. In this case, that's fine. I'm not. I'm fine with that for the effect that I'm after. Uh, but I think I will do a little dry brush on this to bring out some highlights on it after I'm done with it. We'll see what it finally dries to. But there's a lot of texture in there, and just dry brushing in some highlights is going to help bring out a lot of that texture. I think also. We'll leave some high spots on here. Now granted, this is black asphalt for doing roadways, but I'm kind of doing my own thing with it today. So, 
I don't have any roads to build. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to hit this one time with the. Uh, I don't want this to dry my brush because I have a feeling if that dries on my brush, it's not going to dry like a regular, regular, regular uh, acrylic paint. It might actually be bad for it to dry my brush. So we'll put some water on that brush. We'll hit this with the paint or the uh, heat gun. Okay. We're good. Might be a little bit moist there still. So we'll do the we'll do the one before we do the other. Now I'm try to bring this up on the camera to show you before I dry brush it. You could definitely see, first of all, it dries black. It is asphalt, without a doubt, uh, blacktop. Now, it does have, it does dry, and in, in, if you don't smooth it out with a spatula, if you're like doing a road or something, you definitely would want to smooth it out with a spatula because it will dry how you leave it, like in the textures. What I want to make sure of though is that I drag this across these blobs. Yeah, let's dry that a little bit more. I don't want to disturb the texture, so I want to make sure it's really dry. Definitely see how you'd want to let this dry longer than regular, you know, like Walmart kind of acrylic paints for sure. Um, but I do like the way that it come in on this column. It's nice. We'll dry brush just to bring out a little bit of, give the eye something to catch on to. White paint's the trickiest one. You think you got it off, and then bam, you go to dry brush, and boom, it's ruined. 
It's a sneaky one. Try to really get around the, the openings of the holes here because that really makes it pop. See that? Man. Kind of drag it back the opposite way so that that lip catches it. it. Makes it look really nice. Here's a big bump right here. Definitely needs a little, little white on it. Super, super duper. Drag it back against the edge. That way it picks it all up. I mean, as far as which one looks better, I, you know, I think they both look great. I did one in a brown with a white highlight, and then I did one in uh, a darker gray than the the knockouts that I made. So two two grays. But look at nice highlighting around the edges of the holes. Great texture. I mean this stuff paints on a really great texture so let me share with you how these look lit in the in a scene this is the brown one that i created first the one that wasn't so smooth that i left uh, kind of chunky and uh, uneven and you can see that i mean in the scene it looks great it takes light nicely it's got great shape uh you know we've got dry brushing you know the paint really catches on those edges you can dry brush it really nicely and here's the gray one another really nice looking piece and this one is smooth I smoothed this one out with the AK terrains black asphalt and I like them but I like them I think it's a great product